In this video, we're going to take you step-by-step step through the basic installation of GAF Leak Barrier products. Before getting started, prepare the deck by removing debris and making sure it's dry. If re-roofing, replace any damaged sheeting. For easier film release in warm weather, lay leak barrier in the sun with the white side up. In colder weather, lay in the sun with the white side down. To make handling easier, cut the leak barrier into manageable 10 to 20 foot lengths. At eaves, remember to install the drip edge before installing leak barrier. Position salvage edge of the leak barrier toward the upper side of the roof. At rakes, install the drip edge after installing leak barrier. The salvage edge should be positioned toward the interior of the roof deck. Always check local building codes, as some may require different installation at the eaves and rakes. To begin, align the edge of the leak barrier flush to the drip edge. Fasten a corner to help keep the leak barrier in place. Then, unroll along the roof line. Once in place, fold the leak barrier in half. Remove one side of film and fold the product back in place, making sure it's even with the edge. To eliminate bubbles, press leak barrier from the middle out. Smooth out any wrinkles. Repeat the same step for the remaining half of the leak barrier. For safety, back nail with roofing nails every 18 inches along the salvage edge. Adjacent sheets of leak barrier must be installed with at least a six inch end line. Install leak barrier up the roof to a point at least 24 inches past the warm wall, the finished wall inside of the house. If an additional course of leak barrier is required, it must overlap the first course by at least three inches. This lap area must be firmly hand rolled to ensure a watertight bond. Be sure to check out more GAF Pro Series installation videos. Good luck with your roofing project.